This lesson will be doing quadratic modeling. We're going to be writing an equation of a parabola. So we're going to be given a parabola contains three points. What is the equation of this parabola in standard form? And what I'm going to highlight is what you have to do in today's lesson. You have to substitute into the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Remember that the first point in the order pair is x. The second order, uh, the second number is, is the y value. And just like they did here, they, they went ahead and they substituted into the equation. And you notice that you get y, uh, you get 0 equals a times 0 squared plus 0 plus c. I'm going to write a separate system over here. So it's 0, 0, 1, and it's 0, because it says c is equal to 0. The next one is negative is 1, negative 1, 1, and negative 2. So the second one is, um, is a minus b plus c equals negative 2. And then the third equation is a plus b plus c equals 6. So it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 6. So there's our, there's our matrix. It's a 3 by 4, and I think you know where I'm going to be going at now. You go to your matrix calculator, 3 by 4. You're going to type in the coefficient, so it's 0, 0, 1, and then it's 0. The next one is 1, negative 1, 1, negative 2. The next one is 1, 1, 1, and then it's 6. Enter. Then you're going to go ahead and do this function, RREF. You're going to type in A. And you notice that A is, uh, a is 2. B is 4, and C is 0, which they tell you down here. A is 2, B is 4, C is 0, and you're going to place it into that equation. And this is the equation that models, this is the equation of y equals 2x squared plus 4x that goes into 0, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and 1, 6. Example A, using a quadratic model, a player throws a basketball toward the hoop. The basketball follows a parabolic path through the points shown. If the center of the hoop is 1210, will the ball pass through the point? You can think of the units as feet. So they used each point and they went ahead and they substituted into each equation. And that's where you're getting these points. So if I were to write the first equation, it would be uh, 2 squared is, is 4a plus 2b plus c equals, so the y value is 10. The second equation is uh, 10 squared, which is 100, 100a plus 10b plus c equals uh, 12. And then the last equation is 4. So 4 squared is 16a plus 4b plus c equals 12, uh, equals 12, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and write the matrix. So you have a equals 4, 2, 1, 10, 100, 10, 1, 12, 16, 4, 1, and 12. So let's go ahead and type that in. So we have... Um, we have 4, 2, 1, 10. The next one is 100, uh, 10, 1, and then 12. So it's 16, 4, and 1, and 12. Remember, you're going to use RREF. So it appears to be the equation would be y equals, we know that a is negative 1 eighth x squared plus 
B is 7 over 4x, and then C is plus 7. So that would be the equation that it would go through for those three points. And you can check uh, by using Desmos, uh, graphing calculator, negative uh, 1 eighth x squared plus 7 fourths x plus 7. And you can do the points here. You can do the table. So this is 2. That's 10. 10 is 12. And then 4 is 12. And there is there is a parabola. We have earlier discussed ways to solve a system with three variables. We can use these methods to find equations of quadratic functions when we have three points. Uh, we can use these points to substitute them in three equations and solve the coefficients. So uh, the equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So you're going to substitute, this is your x, and there's your y, there's your x, that's your y, and that's your x, and that's your y. So we have, the first one is 0, a, we have negative 2 squared minus 2, oh, plus b times negative 2, plus c. The next one is 0 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. And of course the next one is x is 0 and y is negative 3. So we have negative 3. x is 0 so it's a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. So here are the equations. 0 equals 4a minus 2b plus c. We have 0 equals a plus b plus c. Negative 3 equals 0 a plus 0 b plus c. Now we're going to use a matrix. So we have a equals 4, negative 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 3. Uh, go here to the matrix. So we have 4, negative 2, 1, uh, 0. And then we have 1, 1, 1, 0. And then we have 0, 0, 1, negative 3. And that's what I get as an equation, but we can double check. Negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, minus 2b plus c, 1. 1 squared is 1, 1a, 1b, 1c. Okay, so the equation is a, we have a is equal to 3 halves, b is equal to 3 halves, and c is equal to negative 3. So your equation in standard form, 3 halves x squared plus 3 halves x minus 3. And you wanted to check it, uh, you can use Desmos. And I'm going to use Desmos. So you have 3 halves x squared plus 3 halves x minus 3. Make a table. So it's negative 2, 0, 1, 0. And 0, negative 3, and sure enough, that's the graph there. So if I wanted to uh, graph it, it would be like this. So basically, what you're doing is using these points, and you're, right, you're, you're substituting into the equation. You're substituting into the equation, and then you're coming up with the system. Here's the system, and here is the equations. See the equations? And then we came up with our matrix. And then with our matrix, we used our REF, and we were able to come up with A, B, and C. A, oh, we were to come up with A, B, and C. And then you substitute into the equation, and you came up. It says write the equation of a quadratic function that contains 1, 4, 2, 3, and 4, 7. So remember that 1 is going to be represented by x, 4 is y. 
So you're just going to substitute into that equation the standard form. Quadratic equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And you're going to come up with your system. So you have y, which is 4, equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. The next one is xy, so you have 3 equals a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. And then the last one, we have 4, 7. So 7 is y, 7 equals a times 4 squared plus b times 4 plus c. So now I'm going to write my system. So you have 4 equals a plus b plus c. 3 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. And the last one is going to be 7 equals 16a plus 4b plus c. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a matrix. So it's 1, 1, 1, 4, 4, 2, 1, 3, 16, 4, 1, 7. Let's go to our matrix. I already have the matrix here, so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and type in 1, 1, 1, 4, uh, 4, 2, 1, 3, and then this is 16, 4, 1. So I know that A is going to be 1. A is 1. B is negative 4. And C is 7. So to write your equation, that's going to go through those three points. Y equals X squared minus 4X plus 7. And like I did before, we want to use Desmos. So this is 4, and that's plus 7, right? So there's my graph. Uh, let's check. We have 1. There's 1, 4. There's 2, 3. And then the last one we need, so that's 4, 7. So let me graph it. So it's 1, 4, 2, 3, 4, uh, 0, 0, 7. Example C, write the equation of a quadratic that passes through 2, negative 1, 3, negative 2, and 1, 2. So remember the equation Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. You're going to use the standard form to come up with the system. So we have X and Y, so we have negative 1 equals A times 2 squared plus B times 2 plus C. The next one is 3, negative 2, so you have negative 2 equals a, 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. And of course the last one is xy, so this is going to be 2 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. So you have the equation 4a plus 2b plus c equals negative 1. You have 9a plus 3b plus c equals negative 2. And the last one is a plus b plus c equals 2. So now we've got to find a, b, and c. We're going to use uh, the matrix we already have in here. So I just have to type in the coefficient. So it's 4, 2, 1, negative 1. The next one is 9, 9, 3, 1, negative 2. And then you have 1, 1, 1. So it's 1, negative 6, 7. So it's A equals 1, B equals uh, negative 6, and C equals 7. So it's 1 equals y equals uh, a x squared minus 6x. And you want to check if it works. Go to Desmos, uh, x squared minus 6. So we have x squared minus 6. Okay, look at the table. So we're looking at 2, negative 1, 3, and then 1, 2. There it is. Those are the points.